This is where the score stood. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first ever post-commentary I've ever done for really anything I've done. That's kind of surprising, you know, given how many speedruns I've done. This is Tadpole Treble Thunder Creek. I'll get into kind of how low score runs work in general, but just know that we save quite a few points here. You're not going to believe it how we do it until, well, you see what exactly happens. So we arrive on the first notes. We do the click skip glitch, which skips the notes. And then we do it again. I had to do this in screen capture, then game capture, because you wouldn't believe it. It looks like it's spliced. That's because we do jump forward as if it were spliced, but we don't get anything from before. So the notes rise up as we go. Each time you trigger a note, you get plus one score to it as it climbs up to 30 max. And so we keep going, and by delaying the 30, we can delay where we get hit, which I do it for this first lightning so we can damage boost through it. And then we uh, start counting back up from one, we skip as many as we can. And this is my favorite part of the run, watch this. We precisely time our click skip. This is very hard to hit. Uh, to stop us from getting damaged by that lightning, so we can choose to get damaged somewhere else more advantageous. The timing is very difficult because it's different in each spot. It's never consistent where the lightning damage is. And it's also very tight to actually jump through. So skipping the lightning is a true main character moment, but it's also not the easiest thing. Like, see, you heard that there. I got hit, even though the animation didn't show. But I skipped this one pretty easily. Now this is the toughest section, because there's three in a row, but, I mean, we could just get hit. We get hit twice. I did not like that second one. We grabbed the health going into this next section. I pause uh, to reset the music. There's not going to be any click skips for a little bit. There's no notes in this middle portion. There's just the lobster crabs. And so we reset the music, just for the fun of it. It's not too long, and it's not like we're speedrunning this. We get through a modest 1,400. Reminder that the score was 8,000, and we're ending up at 3,000. So we're halfway. Halfway through the score, halfway through the level. Not bad. So we just keep going through. You know, I used to be the record holder for all the lowest scores. I still am. But the leaderboards went down, so I can't really prove it as well anymore. So we reach the next portion. There's a lot of notes here to skip, and there's lightning too. And we do. We skip the lightning really well. And then we take damage anyways though, because we were getting close to the 30. We get some health. We miss the jump. Did we get this last one? No, we don't. So we once again miss the triple. We go through the bone. Usually hitting the bone gives you about 200 points. We miss the skip, but that's okay. We did need to reset, I think, anyways. Um, we miss another one, but that's okay because we just go through the lightning. Once again, the bone's insane. And so, I forgot to mention why we're skipping the lightning. Because if you hit the symbol, it gives you a times two modifier. So instead of, you know, avoiding the lightning by using the symbols, we just skip over the lightning. We hit through that last lightning, which is cool. And then we get hurt here and jump over the last, last note to get us a solid 3-1-5-1. A really fun run and really fun to do. We broke the game. Anyways, as I mentioned, I was the lowest score holder in every category. So let me go through all these levels for you. I'm going to show you what the lowest score is as of this video. There's a lot of them to break, though, because they don't really utilize the click skip. Except uh, Chiptune Lagoon a little bit. But the rest don't utilize any skips. Thanks for watching. I've been the Arshtok.